Hi and welcome to Deployment News. I'm Johan and this is where you learn about what's going on in MDT, ADK, Config Manager hardware and much more. I'm very excited. This is the first program in what I have planned to be a weekly update. And speaking of weekly updates, this week Dell announced the beta version of the Dell Client PowerShell provider, allowing you to configure BIOS on their machines through PowerShell. And I just happen to have a Dell laptop, a Latitude E7440, that we can try this on. To download the Dell Client PowerShell provider, you simply go to the Dell Tech Center site, to the Enterprise Client Wiki, and there you'll find the PowerShell provider. We can drill down to the download link, and if you search for Happy, you can see that you do need to install the Happy driver before you can launch the various PowerShell commands. But once you do, you can open up the PowerShell command prompt. If I navigate to the folder where I have extracted the download, I can now import the module. So I will run the import module command and the name of the module. Once the module is loaded, I can get that PowerShell drive. And once that one is available, I can start do things with it. For example, I can list all available items from it by using the get child item command. Like this. If I want a nicer view of them, I can pipe them out to a grid view. So I will run the same command, but instead I want to select a few things and pipe them to the grid view. Much nicer. One common configuration is to modify the network card to support Pixie, and I can check the current status by simply asking that configuration item again with the get shell item command. So this is the way to query the network card to see if I have enabled, enabled with Pixie, or disabled, for example. And if I want to enable it, enable for Pixie, I instead run the set item command, the path again, the network card and the value enabled with Pixie. And now if I run the get command again, well you can see it's now enabled with Pixie. So the Dell PowerShell provider is a very very powerful tool to work with the Dell BIOS. Then of course it was the big bang news this week that Wally Mead is leaving Microsoft and moving on to Syrison, one of the leading system center partners. According to the press release, Wally explained that it was Saracen's commitment to the community that was one of the main reasons for him to join them. Good luck to you, Wally, and congratulations, Saracen. Then, for those of you who are using MDOT, the Microsoft Desktop Optimization Pack, the new 2014 version was released this week, including major updates to both MBAM and AppVI. And to take a look at those updates, let's check out this TechNet page. Here on this page, you can find general information about the MDOP information experience. But if you drill down into the TechNet documentation, you find more details about the new features. For example, if you go to the MBAM page, the administration page about MBAM, this is where you learned what's new in MBAM 2.5. New features in MBAM 2.5 are support for FIPS something that BitLocker had for a long time but MBAM didn't. Version 2.5 also makes it easier for admins to enforce the starting of an encryption process on a device. In the AppV update, you now get support for parallel deployment and execution of application upgrades. Improvements to AppV allow you to test and execute the upgraded apps while the user are still retaining access to the original AppV app running on the same device. Something I do would like to highlight is that if you go here, you will find a bunch of updated guides for AppV5. Well, that was all for this week. Hope to see you soon again. Thanks.